Well, here's my little uh, simple linear motor pushing a rotor. And uh, I was going to put a push rod on it with a connecting rod and uh, crankshaft and flywheel, and I thought maybe I could just do it this way. And yeah, this gets rid of all the friction. You're just using magnetic uh, forces to turn the rotor, the flywheel, basically. And uh, it worked out quite nicely. I moved the bias magnet over there on the side. I had it up here in the front pushing on the plunger yesterday. And I found out I could free up that end of the plunger by putting the bias magnet over here. Everything else is the same. Neon's still doing its thing. And um, it worked out quite quite well. I was um, pretty happy. thing draws way too much amperage. But um, it's an interesting little solenoid type of motor. And basically it's like the magnet motors though. The, the uh, force is directed from repulsion from magnet to magnet on the flywheel here. It's not really the electromagnet that's doing the work. It's the actual pushing of that magnet against the magnets here. And that's like these magnet motor type things, only this is done electrically. And this is the circuit again. I um, just called it the simple linear motor uh, with the reed switch activating it. And uh, the bias magnet that I was using yesterday pushed the plunger this way. I just moved it over here on the side. Uh, this will work inclined using gravity, but it was better having it so that you just uh, biased it this way. And of course, I'm uh, I'm lid motor, and this is in December 2014. And the way I have this set up is you can uh, still run it without the rotor. You know, there's this rotor just sitting on a needle, but it runs with that bias magnet just on the side there, just fine. And of course. The neon's still doing its thing. Now this is uh, something you could take that and charge up a capacitor or a battery. But everybody asked me if I could take that and put it back in the front and run the whole thing. The answer is no. <laughs> you don't get out more than you put in. It's just the way things are. But uh, yeah, this little uh, rotor idea did work. It's just uh, you have to get it kind of synced up for it to work. If it doesn't get synced up, it stops. It's basically like that magnetic gearing that I've showed before. And these are magnetically coupled in such a way that uh, the force is transmitted uh, with the magnets. And uh, that's how this operates. This isn't uh, uh, really, like I say, an electromagnet being driven. It's, it's permanent magnet to permanent magnet driven. And that's a little uh, different type of coupling. So anyway, that's that's what I, I did with this thing today, and uh, I had some success with it. It was one thing I wanted to do was be able to turn a rotor with that little uh, solenoid. Thanks for watching.